What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here with another Dell Precision T1700 mini tower and upgrades. I was upgrading the processor and a CMOS battery and show you how to do that. So you're gonna move the side cover panel. And uh, what you need is a Phillips screwdriver. And you're gonna remove the two screws in the bottom, two in the top, remove the heatsink processor fan right here. And it's got, you have to use a Phillips screwdriver. So you're gonna, I'm gonna start off the bottom and remove the two screws here. And the two in the top. Okay, now remove the heat sink. Now what we have to do is that there's a little connector right here for the CPU fan right here. You have to disconnect and it's got a secure clip right here. So what you do is you take your finger like this and you press on it to release the lock. See right there? Because if you try to pull it out, it could break off. So be really gently, you have to press on the secure clip right here to release it for the CPU fan. So we remove the heatsink fan, cooler. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take the paper towel, clean paper towel, and just wipe down the old thermal compound on here. I'll try to zoom in the camera, you guys can see better. Okay, so. Wipe down the old thermal compound off before we're gonna remove the processor because you don't want to get your hands dirty. So wipe down the thermal compound off. Now go ahead and you can remove the heat uh, the processor and with this little clip right here. You take your finger like this, like this, and remove the socket. And what you do is just remove the processor gently. So here's the old processor. And I'm gonna be guys installing into a Core i5 4590. I don't know if the camera can see it, but we're not gonna zoom in. It's an Intel Core i5 4590. It's a quad core. I'm gonna be upgrading. Seems good. Just the way you install it, you see the corners right there? That's the same way you're gonna install the processor like this, the top right there. One will be the left top and the top right corner and left corner right there. That's where the edges is, that's how it's going to install on the top, like this, the way you see it. So install the processor back. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom out the camera. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove the old thermal compound that's on the heat sink here. And the way you do that is you're going to put some kind of uh, clear paper. I'm just going to use the and what you have to do is just take a, remove the thermal compound that's on the heat sink and you just need a clean paper towel so let me get the paper towel in here and just wipe down with the clean take a paper towel and wipe it off if yours doesn't come off really well then you can just have to use a credit card I'll show you, if, you, if it doesn't come off really well, if your probably would be dry, then what you do is take a credit card like this and just wipe out the old thermal compound using the credit card or debit card you have. Perfectly fine. So we're going to remove that and then what you have to do now is we're going to apply, uh, you got to go with uh, rubbing alcohol, 91%, spiral alcohol, 91%. You can go in your grocery store or the pharmacy area located and you just get it from there, it's 91%. But some pharmacies don't have it, so you probably have to go with uh, minimum 70% spiral alcohol, rubbing alcohol, they have it. But 50% is gonna, it's not gonna work, but 70% work perfectly fine. So what we're gonna do is apply the rubbing alcohol just take a paper towel and put a little bit on the, on the paper towel and swipe down the old, just try to get it off, clean it off the old thermal compound that's on the heat sink. See? So this comes right out. That's good enough. All clean. So again, guys, you get, you can get the rubbing alcohol and any grocery any grocery store where the pharmacy is located, and they should have it. If 91% they don't have, then just go with the 
the 70 percent worked perfectly fine so we, we removed the, the old thermal compound now what we have to do is uh, reapply the new thermal compound so you're gonna do is uh, the best way you could just probably put in the middle of the heat sink right here and you stall it back and you don't have to uh, spread it or you could use do the same way in the heat and the processor just put it in the middle that's but I'll show you the other way so just put it in the middle not too much like this then uh, you could just apply it on the heat sink uh, directly to the processor and it will spread evenly but what I will do is uh, I'll use a debit card or credit card whatever you have and just spread it evenly like this just like that and you'd be perfectly fine that's good enough and now you're gonna remove this uh, out of the way now we're gonna install back the heatsink cooler back so you're gonna connect back the four pin connector to back to the motherboard and you install back the heatsink and you're gonna install back the screws here two in the top two in the bottom So again guys, I'm upgrading the processor to i5-4590, it's a quad core, so make sure that the, the screws are tight, and we're done, now make sure you don't forget to connect the 4 pin uh, for the CPU fan right here back to the motherboard, and remove the old processor, and be the last part guys, is uh, we're going to upgrade the CMOS battery here, you guys probably can't see it, so here's the CMOS battery right there, we're going to upgrade we have got to change it and because the machine the basic of the computer is 2013 it's a four years old so the CMOS battery I'm just gonna go and replace now so so you take a flathead screwdriver and there's a little clipper here in the bottom and the and you clip press on it and, and the battery will come right out the CMOS battery and I'm just replace it to the new one so here's the so here's the older one and the newer one so I'm just going to install the battery just like this and you're done. Put it back the computer side. Now I'm going to install back the, the side cover panel then we're done. So yeah guys this is for the Dell Precision T1700. We upgraded the processor and we changed the CMOS battery. This is MXKDI here. Thanks for watching. Bye.